Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back to Solitary Craft. We've finally got up to 1.4.6 and you know what that means, Chad. You know what it means. I know what that means, Tough. What I know mean? what that means. What does it, it mean, Chad? Floppy hand blocking <laughs> and red <laughs> no, 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 power. Red power. Red fucking power has finally Red Power <laughs> Red Power has finally been updated. I'm gonna celebrate this act. I am gonna celebrate this act. By grabbing myself none other than this. I'm going to celebrate this act like this. By making an iron sword. So just for this moment. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is, this is how I celebrate the release of Red Power. With one piece of redstone. Yes. <laughs> you can't even jump. Banging my head on the pipe. <laughs> you can't even jump because you're smacking man. your head on the pipe. Yeah, you're a tall man. Anyway, um, right, the the first thing that we've got to do to get to this new red power goodness, do you know what it is? I do not. You please tell me. Mistcraft. Okay. We've got to start delving into some Mistcraft and get into some new worlds or newly generated terrain, but we have explored quite a bit of this uh, of this world, so I'd rather not try to walk places, because I can't bother doing that. And I just picked up a pet bat manual. Yes, <laughs> don't worry, in the next configs, guys, I will be changing that. You've probably already seen that by now, anyway, to be honest. About slap-ins with pumpkin pies. Yes. Yes. So, Red Power, um, Mistcraft, sorry, not Red Power. Mistcraft, where do we start, Shed? Where do we start with Mistcraft? Come on, tell me. Usually, with a book. You do start with a book, but you can't do much more with a book without having a uh, notebook. Oh, book. Uh, w yeah, a, w a workbench <coughs> thing. Yes, a uh, a table. I don't know what you call them. I believe they call them desks. A writing desk. Sounds about right. So if you search desk in NEI, and not the one that looks like a crafting table, because you can't actually craft that one, but the writing de desk next to it, we should have the stuff to be able to deal with that writing desk. Would you uh, mind doing such a thing as creating that? Liquid black dye? No, there's, uh, you can use an ink sack. Oh, we've got an ink sack, okay. Feather and five wooden planks. I don't think we've got five wooden planks, that's the only problem I have. Uh, wood, yeah, you see, wood. Massive problem with our world, isn't it, Shed? Massive. Yeah, we don't have much. While, while you are crafting through that, I will go through some of the changes in 1.4.6. So guys, um, what I'm going to be working on is the Forge Lexicon, which is part of the OmniTools mod by uh, King Lemming, who did Thermal Expansion. This is what I'm going to be working on. requires a book, cyan wool, obsidian, two iron, and two gold to make the Forge Lexicon. And I'll show you what that, that does in just a second. There is other mods such as Traincraft that is actually enabled on this server. I wasn't actually meant to enable it, but it is enabled. Um, what else is there? There's a few new additions. Um, I already told you Miss Peripherals was in, wouldn't, didn't I? Yep. Let's have a look through uh, <clears throat> through NEI, so I can show you guys what's going on. That's industrial craft, finger my bobs, finger my bobs. There you go. Ah, right, there we are. Right desk. Mine chem. That is also in this mod pack now. Mine chem two. Good stuff. That is. What's that, what's, what's that in, involved other it, than chemistry? It's um yeah, basically that's what it is. I'm not, I haven't dabbled in it too much. Uh, I got a suggestion. Uh, to add this mod, I went to have a look and it sounds really, really interesting. I haven't looked at the wiki, I haven't looked at too much to do with uh, Minecam, but it does look very, very interesting indeed. You can see it on my screen, guys, there is such a thing as uh, all the train craft stuff. Uh, now, don't be fooled by the way that the NEI, um, the little sprites here look like. These things, when they're put in world, are, look absolutely insane, they look amazing. If we go up here, you can see that um, the alchemical bags are slowly coming into uh, EE3, but unfortunately you can't craft them just yet. Um, extra bees has had an update since. Copper mod, uh, unfortunately, it has to be taken out because it hasn't been updated yet to 1.4.6, and I wasn't going to uh, hold the pack back 
um, if you know if I could. I yep. really wanted to release it as soon as I could. Whoa, is that the actual Billcraft oil pipe? Yep. Nice. Nice. So this is where the writing desk is going to go, is it? Ooh, copper. Yeah, I thought I'd build it a little mistcraft room. I thought I'd nick that. I'll let you find Yeah, no, please do. <laughs> and then I'm going to work on the Forge lexicon. Uh, for a full change, uh, for a full details on the changes to SolidCraft, don't forget you can go to the www.atlauncher.com and go to Packs. There's a little option saying Packs. If you go there and click on SolidCraft, it will show you the change log. If you just look at 5.3, that is the most recent change log. Um, well, 5.3.0.1, I think, is the uh, most recent one, which just fixed an update. That was all. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Without further ado, let's probably get on with the episode proper by creating a forged lexicon. I'll let Shed go and create a couple of books. So I need two iron, two gold, which we... Whoa, we haven't got any gold. Nice. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Now, I thought the bug with the minion stone was uh, fixed, but apparently not. You can still put it in there. It will come up with a green progress bar, the, um, what do you call it, damage bar. But uh, it doesn't actually use it. It will still stay as a full minion stone, so... Bit of a bit of an exploit there, but I don't mind using exploits while they exist. Right. So now we've got... Four gold ingots. I only need two of them, remember, guys. Put two of them back in there. I also want two iron. I want, if I go to blocks, I want one obsidian, which we do have, which is great news. Um, cyan wool and a book. I'm sure we've got wool. Now we're getting cyan dye. What's cyan dye? Purple dye in a minium stone. Uh, I'm sure there's a different, proper way of doing this. You can actually get it with cyan wildflowers, water bottle, and redstone. I'm sure I've got some uh, wildflowers, and I'm sure one of them is cyan. There we are. One of them is cyan, a water bottle. Here's another point, by the way. Yes. You know, and we spent redstone. ages searching for red flowers. Yes. That you can use bone meal on grass. You can. And it'd give us red flowers. You can. And eventually. that will actually give us um, the indigo flowers from yeah. Red Power um, as well. I totally, did, totally forgot that you could do that until I watched it in a video. Yes. So I need a bit of water here, guys, for my glass bottle. I also need to mm -hmm. smack the crap out of this, out of this uh, zombie. Uh, okay, so... I haven't really got... Have we got a... Oh, yeah, we have got, got three bits of gold. Sense. What are you chatting? What are you chatting? Yeah, because I made them. Oh, okay. shit. That uh, red-eyed zombie came up pretty quick there. Oh, my God. Spiders after my guts as well. Not having this. Come outside. I'm going to get just gang-banged. I'm not having this. Should be used to that. <laughs> right, so, water bottle along with a redstone and a cyan wildflower gets you eight cyan dye. Now that is a Pam's Mods recipe. The We Flowers mod that's in this pack. Very nice to have. Very nice. Now let's get the wool here along with one of the cyan dye to get a cyan wool. Brilliant. And let's use this auto crafting table in the floor here to be able to get ourselves the Forge Lexicon. Have I missed something off the top here? A book. Which is exactly why I put an automatic crafting table down there. But now I can't actually use the auto crafting table. Um, oh, and it put the writing table down, don't it? That'd probably help. It would help, yes. We need a bit of leather. We got leather. Yeah, we've got do. a tiny we've got little bit of leather. Not, yeah, we've not got much of it though. 
So there's a book, guys, and that'll finish off the recipe quite nicely in there. Forge Lexicon, lovely. I'm going to put that in the room with the um, enchanting table. Or should I? I can't place this writing desk down. It works like a bed. You've got to put it down so it's, um, you know, it's too long. Oh, okay. Um, can I pick it back up with a diamond drill? Let's put it there. Uh, an axe, would it be better? Because it's wood. Whatever way. Now, I'm going to show YouTube uh, exactly what to do with the Forge Lexicon. There's all these different types of copper. We've got one copper here, and we've got another copper here. We all, we, you know, we'd like it to be uniform. I don't like the idea of having so much different type of copper. You know, it takes up a couple of inventory spaces, and we, you know, we could do with that kind of thing, especially when it comes to working our quarry. So, what you do with this is you take the type of copper that you want to change into a different type of copper, and we want to change it into that orangey-looking copper um, that's up there. The 4662 type of copper. So come with me, Shed, and I'll, uh, I'll show you exactly what to do. Hello. Uh, the Forge Lexicon, here. You just right click on it. Yep. Put the copper of which you're changing in the left hand slot there. And you can press the arrows to choose which copper you actually want to pick from. And it'll look through the whole, uh, the whole of the um, Forge or Dictionary for any type of copper that you've obviously got installed. We want this one, so you just click the arrow in the middle, and boom, you've got your ah. copper. Okay, that's clever. It is. It is very clever. I don't want this far. Oh, no, that's the uh, description. Okay, fair enough. And that'll allow me to change all my different types of copper that I've got hanging around. Because I believe that this type of copper here, this orangey type of copper, is the one that comes out of factorization machines. Now, because we're using factorization machines, we obviously would like that type of copper being the default. So, let's put that in there. And there you have it. Now, what I'm going to do off camera is uh, just go through this tin. I believe I've got, have I got some more t different types of tin? I've got one different type of tin there. I think I actually got that out of uh, a chest. Have we got anything else? Tin, silver, lots of silver there. We've got two different types of lead, um, and I believe, depending on what lead it is, I can't remember which one is the uh, one that actually comes through. I don't know if it's that one or that one through factorization. Hmm. Strange. I've got also got two different types of zinc, so I'm going to sort that out. I believe that factorization uses this zinc. Whereas uh, that zinc is from the pendulum. Oh, hang on a sec. No, I think what happened was I had the zinc fragments. The same with the lead. Um, oh no, I don't think lead was in there. Oh, I'm not sure anyway, guys. We'll figure it out as we're going along. Um, I'm going to change this zinc off of one type. I believe that this is the zinc that we want to take out. And we want to make that type of zinc right in the middle there. Um, there's another one with the bronze here. I think that the best type of bronze that we can make is that type of bronze, the forestry type. So let's take that out and make sure that that's changed around. And the lead, I'm not sure. I'll just I'll change all these 36 uh, lead that I've got here into this type of lead. And if more comes in, I know that it's going through the quarry. And I know that it's going through the pulverizer and what have you, so I can then change it back. It doesn't cost anything to change anything. It just... Um, you know, it just allows you to do it because it's free. You know, you, you've already got the copper. There's no point in yeah. charging you. And for it, it should be able to. So you, should, you know, I mean, it should be a free thing. I don't see why they'd charge you for it, or it's, why they should it charge should, you for it. Especially after you spent, you know, the two gold ingots, two iron, and what have you. Now, one change, actually, guys, um, to the this thing here, the chunk loader, is the world anchor now requires ender pearls, and it actually lasts, one ender pearl will last you 14 real life hours in your server world. So just keep that in mind now guys, that the world anchor does I require it was 12. ender pearls. What? No, it's 14. Okay. It's definitely 14. Fair. Uh, because I put it in like four hours ago, which would make sense. Suppose so. Uh, so yeah, that chunk loader does require uh, power. There is a different chunk loader in here. Um, now if I remember actually what it's called, I think it's called a tether. Oops, I forgot if I spelled it right. And again. Now I don't know if this teleport tether 
still works. It's a damn sight lot cheaper to make, one lapis and eight uh, iron ingots, but uh, I don't think it requires fuel. Um, and the thing is, I don't know if it still works. I, I, I really have no clue. If uh, I would say if somebody in the comments would like to enlighten me on that, then I would uh, you know, change my chunk loaders out. But uh, unfortunately, because we're like 7 billion episodes in front, I probably have got the answer by then. <laughs> so I'm going to change these ingots, guys, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I actually didn't change my ingots. Silly, silly bugger. Silly bugger. I That's what I was thinking when Let's, you said right, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, didn't change my ingots. So I'll just do it really quickly now. Okay, guys, we're going to be working on books, of course, for Mistcraft. Um, in fact, you know what? I will be back as soon as I've got that done. All right, guys, I'm back. I've done my little bits and bobs that I've got to do with my ingots. I've sorted them all out into the same things. And uh, we've come to our miscellaneous chest here. And I've come for one thing in particular, and that's these wooden chips. I knew the reason why we did these earlier. Now, Shed is actually off doing something else at the minute. And if I actually show you guys what Shed is going to be doing, um, you probably understand why he's going to the nether for this. But if I have a look for gold dust... See, it's there. Now, if I actually put the recipe for a gold dust, you can see how it's created. Um, if I do the uses, oh no, actually, a minute, it will still be in the recipe, won't it? If you uh, go to the industrial centrifuge, guys, you can actually put electron blend and get your gold dust, at least some of it, back. Um, when you put gold dust with a silver dust, it will create the electron. Uh, in uh, the electron dust. But here we are, guys. Look at this industrial centrifuge. If you put 16 glowstone dust in there, it will create a helium cell, 8 redstone, and 8 gold dust. Now that is doable. That is gettable. With 25,000 EU, it does indeed. create a little bit, it does uh, you know, consume a little bit of an EU. It takes 250 seconds, so what's that about? 4 or 5 minutes-ish? Something like that. Something like that. You can also put, like I said, electron dust in it. You know, it's exactly the same as well. Um, the industrial grinder, you can put a mercury cell and some copper in, and you'll get two copper dust and one gold dust. But uh, really, this glowstone recipe here is uh, is going to be pretty insane. Are you going to use your fortune, your newly acquired diamond fortune axe, uh, pickaxe, uh, on the I glowstone? I am indeed. You absolute legend. So we should have quite a lot of that stuff. It's quite and I already have three and a bit stacks of glowstone. Nice. Nice. Meanwhile, I am creating, or going to be creating, books. Now, I'm only going to create two for the moment because we don't have uh, much in the way. Uh, here's a random point, right? Yes. Just by way of thought. Could you not turn four glowstone into one glowstone block and then destroy it with a fortune pick and get like five or six glowstone? <laughs> I don't know. Quite and possible. And then repeat the process. Quite possibly, my friend. Quite possibly. Worth a try. It's an exploit. But it's a vanilla exploit, that as well. Yeah. Right, I think four stacks of glowstone is probably enough. For now. Skelly thinks he's hard enough. When he ain't. Right, in there we're going to place another stack. Of, uh, of Four stacks of bloodstones enough, isn't it? For now. I believe so. I'm just going to grab myself some leather, guys. We're pretty low on leather at the minute. So I'm going to come in here and cull the population of cows. Because I can. Not like we've not got enough. And I think, uh, I think not like we've not got enough. Moment. I think that will do for the moment. And we're going to go ahead and create ourselves... Four... Of uh, of these of these year books, just four normal books will do for the moment. Now we actually do need another thing as me. well. What's that? A book. I've got one on me. We've only got six of them. That's all right. We only need two for the moment. You got six of what? Sorry. I just I think I've got a book on me. Oh, you got a book on you. Do you want it? Uh, no, not for the moment. You're all right. But if you'd like to witness this at the same time, because I know you haven't messed around with mods so much, in the yep. automatic crafting table here, we're going to put a book 
In fact, I'm not going to do that in the auto crafting table. I will put two books in here, though, and I also put two feathers. Now, these actually ta uh, change into descriptive books. Now, I'm going to take two descriptive books out, and you can see, or at least you can see on my screen, one of them is labelled Age 2, and one of them is labelled Age 3. Uh, they are two totally separate dimensions, um, and you can travel to them by, if I right-click, I'll be able to get to them. But I'm obviously not going to do that, otherwise I can't get back home, because there is no linking book back home. So let's go to our little uh, Miscraft Edge area room thing that we've got in here. And let's face this way, say for example. And let's put just a normal book in our crafting grid on the top there, and you'll see a normal book changes into a linking book. Now this linking book is to the overworld, this links to the exact place where I am stood. So I'm going to create two of these to go with both of these descriptive books. But I do need, guys, I do need paper. Because I want to create myself what's called a notebook. Now the notebook is from Miscraft, and you can place it in the inventory of the table. So right here, you can place the notebook in there. And this will open up this little interface here. Now, as you travel to different ages in Miscraft, you will unlock more symbols through the notebook. So let's try that right now. We've got uh, two linking books there, and we've got two descriptive books. Um, unfortunately, when you go, I I'm going to put my portal gun in um, this chest here, because look at this, guys. Look at the recipe for the portal gun. It's totally it just changed. The, it is just the centrifuge, isn't it? I put the glowstone in. Industrial centrifuge. You need a cell as well. Okay, I ain't got any empty cells. I've got some water cells. Yeah, empty I'll just cells. I'll empty the water out of them. Um, this miniature black hole that's required for the portal gun now is a nether star surrounded in enderpearl dust. Now, that is a pretty insane recipe. Um, so just be aware of that. Now, that's actually in portal gun. That's not Greg Tech that's changed that. <laughs> At least I don't Great think change. it is. At least I don't think it is. So I'm going to create something else right before I go. And I believe the recipe for this has changed as well, so let's grab some stuff. Hey, you can't right-click water cells down. You can't. Right-click water cells and put them down. I don't think you can, no. I need to make some more empty cells. I could I swear it's I something could like get that. Get rid of these. Ah, it's the other way, guys. It's the other way around, guys. Of course it is. Let's put that there, that there, and that there, and that will create as a book stand. Now these book stands are going to be used for travelling between dimensions. Now. I'm going to put one book stand there and one book stand there. I'm also going to put a descriptive age 3 on this book stand by right clicking. And I'm going to put the descriptive age 2 on this book stand by right clicking. Now, uh, they used to say the name above them. Uh, I believe, I don't know if that's a config uh, setting or something. I may have to change that because I, do, I did like the fact that you could see what age it was just by getting near it. Um, but we'll get to that. As long as you have an overworld book, this is really important. If you don't have an overworld book and you travel to a Miscraft Age, you will get stuck there because there is absolutely no way back. So let's go to Age 2. Now you can see at the minute there is absolutely nothing in this Age, and you just click on the black screen to travel over there. Now Shed, you'll receive some quite a bit of lag, and you will look like you're falling through the Earth. Don't worry about it. Just let it run its course. What? Me? Yeah, you'll receive some light. Oh, I'm busy at the minute. Oh. Well, is it in this world I'll receive yes. some lag? You will. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm currently generating a world. Fine it's taking a while, actually. And I've just timed out. Back in yep. a second. Yep. Okay guys, well, it was actually generating what looks like a cave world. Um, it seems to be a bright edge cave world because I am, well, in a cave world, as you can see, I'm totally surrounded uh, by stone all around. I don't know what, quite what that exception was that came up there, but um, maybe it was because I was recording at the same time, you never know. Uh, so you can see it is a bright edge because I can see where I am. Now, before I actually move off this podium, I'm going to put down a book stand. And I'm going to make sure... Crying out loud, what's going on?
Kick me out again. All right, guys. Not entirely sure what's going on there because I've looked on the server and absolutely no reason why uh, it should be doing something like that. But uh, nonetheless, it is. Um, just looking through it, I really can't see anything. What's warning me about that? Maybe it's because the the, the, load, the world hadn't loaded properly around me uh, whilst I was, you know, doing my recording or trying to, uh, at least. Now you can see. With edge two here, we've got a bunch of symbols that's like appeared just underneath the name of the book here. We've got large biomes. We've got the savanna biome, woodlands biome, river biome, ravines, a bright edge, eternal weather, normal time, and a cave world. Now, if we take this out of the book standing, because it's gone, uh, but if we look at our notebook, they're not there. How do you actually teach the things to the notebook? Well, that's pretty simple. You put it in this little slot here. It then writes all the symbols that were in there to the notebook. And now you can take that out of there, and the symbols are there to stay, guys. Uh, and that's basically how you start creating worlds with Miscraft. So, off camera, because it was horrendously buggy the first time, um, I'm going to go to this next Miscraft world, and I'll see you on the other end. Alright guys, I'm back from this Miscraft world, and not one ounce of being kicked out there. Uh, so that's brilliant. We've got medium biomes, marsh biome, a jungle biome, and a pine forest biome. So you'll recognise there that they're, they're, they are all, especially, uh, ones from extra biomes. It does include uh, extra biomes, does the Miscraft world. So if you've got extra biomes installed, the, the Miscraft will look and generate symbols for those specific biomes. Not Pacific, specific biomes, I mean. Uh, we've also got another one with ravines, a normal fog, white fog, red fog, dark, eternal storm, normal time, and a flat world. Brilliant. So let's take that age three descriptive book and put it in there and write the uh, stuff that's in there to the notebook. You see we've got a few things uh, gathering there. And that's basically the gist of how um, Mistcraft works. Now... Um, edge two and three. I'm probably going to want to take a note of these things. So um, I'm going to make a chest because each time you create a new world, it does actually create a new file on yeah in your server settings. And when you've got too many of these, it may cause problems. I don't think it you know it causes much problems unless you're using them. But uh, it's just to make sure uh, you know you're deleting the right one when it comes along to it. If you're going to delete an edge, get rid of the descriptive book, uh, and then you'll be sorted. So now I've done them two worlds, I'm going to go and pop over and show you what Shed's up to. What are you still up to, Shed? Um, I've just put the um, blah, 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 glowstone in the industrial centrifuge, and I'm just topping up the feed station with the cows. Insufficient energy. I think that's a, uh, a visual bug with yeah, uh, great that. tech there. Yeah, it seems to be doing. Yeah, well, you've got enough empty cells in there. Uh, the glowstone dust there, that's going to create us quite a bit of gold. I think we do need a little bit more tough chunks in there, though, to be honest. Or some more coal, at any rate. So let's go and sort something out in the way of fuel. Oh, yep. God, we've got loads of coal. Just grab some of that. Berit. B R. Eat. Get back here. So I'm gonna wait until that last one's in there, and I'm gonna shove the coal inside there. Eventually, guys, we are gonna get to solar panels and automatic uh, energy, but we're, we're we, you know we're not quite there yet. I, I think we are there. We just you know we don't want to spend half of our lives trying to craft one solar panel. Um, let's look at no, solar thanks. panels. Actually, normal. Normal solar panels, wasn't it? Ah, the silicon plates was what we was after. Now, the silicon plates themselves can only be done in an industrial blast furnace. So why don't we start looking at uh, the industrial blast furnace um, in between doing miscraft ages? Because, of course, I do need more cows. I need more leather to make the books for the miscraft. So let's yep. go over here. We should have enough cows a few there. things. Yeah, we should have uh, a couple of them ready and ripe. Ripe for the pickings. <laughs> there we are, 
That's some more leather there. That's five leather in total so far. Now we've got lots of babies kicking around. I don't mind nicking one of them. Not a baby that is. A baby always seems to end up out of the out of its pen. Uh, we'll leave them yeah. in there to grow up and sort themselves out. Oh, that always gets stuck on titanium dust now. That's um, an upgrade from Greg Tech. You can no longer put titanium dust inside the powered furnace to be um, smelted. Um, it has to go in uh, a Greg Tech specific machine now. And if you have a look, it does go in the industrial blast furnace, as you can see there, to make the titanium ingots themselves. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to grab my... Did a lot of um, dirt just come through there, or is it just me? Yeah, that was... No, that was me. Oh, that's I've just you. I told it to. Fair enough. I'm, I'm just making have to some more buggers to get the peat farm back up and running again. Yeah, ledge. Ledge. I'm going to have to get my wrench, guys, and take out the titanium dust that was inside one of these item sync uh, modules. There it is. That's taken out. That's taken care of now. Um, we want it to go straight into a chest now, which uh, we're going to sort out by putting ours and... Uh, no, we're not... Precious items, we're going to put the titanium dust inside there. And it's going to hang out there, and it's going to wait until things come along and do all kinds of business and put it straight into there rather than the uh, powered furnace. So because I know what I'm doing, I'm going to do that and put the uh, raw beef straight into the furnace there to be smelted up, or cooked up should I say. Now we've got six leather, we're going to move on to creating um, well it would be six more wouldn't it so Remember wooden chips, guys, you can get from pulver uh, pulverizing wood. And there's six normal books. I will be back, guys, once I've explored all six of these areas. And then we'll start looking at maybe creating a biome, uh, or should I say a book, that's going to be stable enough to go mining in. Now, this is for the red power items that come along with it, such as nickelite and uh, the gems and bits and bobs like that basalt, marble, all that kind of good stuff that comes with red power, we want to get our hands on. So, I'll be back, guys, unless you uh, there we go. saw something. Chris. Yes? Um, the first lot of glowstone's done. Is if you want to come and show it to the let's, uh, YouTube let's go people. Look. Let's go have a look, guys. The IC2 room in here. First lot of the industrial centrifuge of the glowstone. Oh, look at this, guys. Eight gold dust. I cannot, cannot stress how important that is going to be. Eight gold dust. Absolutely brilliant. That will turn into eight nice golden ingots for us there. Um, it's a rare commodity in my mod pack for some strange reason. I'm not quite sure why, yeah. but it it's, is a it's rare commodity. Far, far too strange. Yeah, not too rare. I've even. found more, got more diamond than I have gold, and that's saying something. Yeah. So guys, I will be back, unless you've got something to add really quickly. I don't think so. So I will be back, uh, be back guys, once I've created all these Miscraft ages and been in them and show you... Uh, well, I will pop back and show you what exactly it is in each book.